Finally, it's been a difficult situation, hasn't it, for the club surrounding the Bernardo Silva situation. How do you reflect on it after a few days and what lessons do you feel can be learnt from it? I don't think Bernardo has to learn. I think he making a statement in the FAA and said uh, it was an intention, it was a joke with there, but if someone could be offended, he apologised. Yeah. But uh, it's so tough what the people saying, the media, mass media, and the people saying that he's racist. I would not like to be accused for that kind of thing. I think you, you need it. So, because it's not true. It's a, Mendy is a, like a brother for him. He's a real friend. I think Mendy was clear. He's an exceptional person. Exceptional. So it's not easy to live in that position that people can think you know he's not. So we have to fight every day, every single day, about the discrimination, uh, racism, uh, sexual abuse, and all uh, bad things. It's not a, it's one day making a statement. It's every single day, every single day in our society. We have to fight for that. But be careful, because we are accusing one person that is exceptional to something he's not, and has a family. And, and that's why it's a real unfair. So I'm so disappointed about the way they treat they treat uh, Bernardo. Do you feel that's an issue now that can be can be put to bed from your point of view, from Manchester City's point of view? Sorry? Is it an issue that you can find closure with now from Manchester City's point of view? Has, has all that needs to be said been said, do you feel? Well, I, think, I think we were from the beginning. So when something is bad, we have to do it and we have to fight about that. But uh, they fight in the wrong person. Thanks for your time. Thank you.